Got some past exam questions here on the alcohols topic. So if you want to have a go at these, the link to the questions in the description of the video. So click on that, have a go at the questions and then play the video for the answers. So question one, which substance contains hydrogen bond in the liquid state? Well, you can see I've written there, we need a hydrogen directly bonded to fluorine and oxygen or nitrogen. Well, you've got that going on in D, so that was the answer. Question two, which volume of oxygen gas at RTP is needed for complete combustion of that many moles of propane one ol? So there's the balanced equation. So for one mole of that, you need nine over two or four and a half moles of oxygen. So 1.25 times 10 to the minus three moles needs that many moles of O2. Multiply by 24, then a thousand to get it into cm cubed, 135, so C. Which alcohol will not react with potassium dichromate 6 in sulfuric acid? That's obviously the oxidizing agent, so in other words, which is the tertiary alcohol, because they're not oxidized. That's a secondary one. That's a primary one. That's a secondary one. There's your tertiary one, so D. So question four, we're reminded that alcohols are converted into alkenes in the elimination reaction. Elimination of water from pentan2O forms a mixture of organic products. Give the names and structures of all the products in the mixture and answer should explain how reaction leads to different isomers. Okay, so we'll go for the reaction first. So there's my pentan 2 all. So to get the water molecule out, we obviously take the OH and we take an adjacent hydrogen. So you can see in red, I've got a red and a blue circle around there. So we'll focus on the red first. So the red OH and that red H there. That's going to put a double bond here. It's going to lead to pent one in and obviously water. If we go for that adjacent hydrogen, the one I've done in blue, you get pent two in and water. Now I've just written a little note to self there. When alkenes form, always check if EZ possible. So that one can't because they're both hydrogens. When you've got the same atom on one of the carbons of the double bond, you can't get EZ. This one can. So I'm going to talk about that later on, okay? And just to check, CH3 and H are different. CH2, CH3 is different to H. So yeah, this one can show EZ. So we'll talk about that at the end. So start of my answer, when water is eliminated from alcohols, CC double bond forms by the loss of the OH group and an H from an adjacent carbon atom. There's two ways to do this in pentan 2 all. Removing the H from the first carbon atom gives pent one in. Removing it from the third carbon atom gives you pen 2 in. And then here's my bit about EZ. Pen 2 in can also show EZ isomerism due to each carbon atom of the CC double bond containing different groups of atoms. So the Z form is when the priority groups are on the same side of the CC double bond. The E form is when the priority groups are on opposite sides of the CC double bond. Number five, systematic name for the molecule shown. So we've got one, two, three, four, five carbons in the main chain. OH is on carbon one, methyl on number four. So four methyl, pent and one all. Question number six, basically testing your understanding of these three keywords. So there's the definition of each one. So the aliphatic ones are the straight or branched chains on non-aromatic rings. So that's obviously aliphatic, that one, that one, and that one. Alicyclic has got to be a ring, but not aromatic. So we're talking about that one, that one, and that one. And aromatic has got to have a benzene ring in it. So that or that, well, it's those two there. And the next part, compound I has one alkyl group. What's the general formula of alkyl groups? So that's CN, H2N plus one. Part C, we've got to calculate the percentage yield of compound H. So there's the equation in molecular formula. So the moles of J, mass over MR, that many moles of J. The moles of H formed, mass over MR, that many moles. You'd expect to make the same moles of H as J because of that one to one ratio. So the percentage yield is the actual moles over the expected moles times 100, 32.7%. And the final question, describe a simple test the student could carry to confirm the presence of the functional group in compound H. Obviously it's the bromine water test. 
So you shake the compound with bromine water and obviously if the double bond's there, the bromine water should be decolorized. And the organic product, the Br2 molecule, is just going to add across where the double bond was. The double bond was there. So you get that 1,2-dibromocyclohexane compound formed.